push football for a side, mm-hmm. um, to the side for a second. Um, this guy right here loves to fish. I don't know if you guys <laughs> knew about that, but um, <laughs> I, I never heard too much about your massive fishing trip. He went to Argentina. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So, um, do you, do you fish in the ocean or was no? That- uh, went to a lodge in Argentina and Patagonia. Um, it's all rivers, streams, and some lakes there. Uh, big fly fisherman. Okay. Uh, but down there, I mean, it's a, it's an untouched place. It really is. Hmm. Um, you know, it's two hours down a dirt road to get to this lodge. It's super remote. Yeah. But it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I mean, yeah. it, just the people down there, it, it's a special place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's did, the biggest fish you ever caught? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> well, <laughs> did you, did you um, catch that many? Or was oh, yeah. It, it, was, yeah. it was pretty phenomenal. Um, so when I fly fish, I'm usually for trout or back in Ohio for smallmouth bass. In Argentina, okay. biggest one i caught down there was a brook trout which in the states brook trout only get you know a 15 inch brook trout is huge in the united states mm-hmm. biggest one i caught down there was 26 inches Jeez. it, it was like a it was it was really cool experience i hope mm-hmm. someday i can go back <laughs> yeah that sounds really fun yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. so um okay yeah you said you stayed out pretty pretty remote um did you have like i know obviously the culture and the food's a lot different probably mm-hmm. was that it, it's pretty similar really? a lot of beef a lot oh. of beef down there okay huh yeah 